This video is on one of the two pillars of natural justice that is Audi Ultram Partum that means hear the other side. The role of natural justice comes into power when no partiality is done with anybody during an, any regularity or regulatory activity. The rule of Audi Ultram Partum is the primary notion of the principle of natural justice. The principle also says that no one should be condemned unheard. Both the parties will get an opportunity of fair hearing and justice. This maxim also ensures that the fair hearing and justice will be done towards both the parties. Both the parties have the right to speak. No decision will be taken by the court without hearing both the parties. Both the parties have an opportunity to protect themselves. Basically, the Audi Ultram Partum means hear the other side. It has come from a Latin phrase auditor et ultra paris. It is, its meaning is the same, that is to hear the other side. This is a very strong rule which means no one will be judged without fair hearing. The maxim has been applied to ensure fair play and justice to the persons who is affected. It is mainly applicable in the fields of administrative actions. The procedure which is adopted should be just and fair. The person who decides anything without hearing the other side, although he says what is right, but he would not have done what is right. The principle of hearing is basically a code of procedure and thus covers every stage through which an administrative jurisdiction passes that is from notice to final determinations. The principle of natural justice is based on fairness, reasonableness, equality and equity. The principle of Audi Ultram Partum is one of the basic concepts of the principles of natural justice and this doctrine gives a right that one shall be condemned of anything without being heard. This is based on the principle of natural justice and ensures a just and fair hearing. So the, this legal maxim gives both the parties the right to be heard and the maxim is made with an aim to give an opportunity to both the parties to defend them. Coming to the illustration, like for example, whenever any person is arrested, that person needs to be brought before the court of law within 24 hours of his arrest. This is the protection mentioned in the Constitution of India for the convictions or for the protection of detentions or unreasonable detentions. If any person is not being able to represent themselves through a lawyer, then it is the duty of the state to provide for legal aid. If any accused is not able to afford legal services, then he has a right to free legal aid. There are various elements of the concept of Audi Ultram Partum with the first essential is notice. Before any action is taken against the party who is affected, a notice must be provided to them in order to present a cause against the proposed action and to pursue his application. If any order is passed, passed without giving the notice, then it might be against the principle of natural justice and will be void eminitio. That means void from the very beginning. As in the case of Punjab National Bank versus All India Bank Employees Federation, in this case, the notice which were given to the party contained certain charges, but it was not mentioned anywhere that penalty was imposed on the charges. Hence, the charges on which penalty was imposed was not served as a notice to the parties concerned. The notice was not proper and thus the penalty which was imposed was invalid. When coming to the next essential that is hearing, the second most essential element of ordeal from bottom. That is a fair hearing. If the order passed by the authority without hearing the party or without giving him an opportunity to being heard, then it will be considered as an invalid. Next is evidence as evidence is considered as most important part which is brought before the court when both the parties are present there and the judicial or quasi judicial authority will act upon the evidences which is produced before the court. Hence both the parties must have an opportunity to present their evidences against each other or in favor of each other. As in the case of Stafford versus Minister of Wealth. In this case, it was held that no evidence shall be received in the absence of the other party. And if any such evidence is recorded, then it is the duty of the authority to make it available to the other party. As moving to the next essential is the cross examination. The court should not require to reveal the person concerned or material to be taken against him. 
बट इन अपॉर्चुनिटी इज प्रोवाइडेड डेम टू डिनाय द एविडेंसेज द क्वेश्चन अराइज दैट विल विटनेसेज विल बी क्रॉस एग्जामेंट लाइक इन द केस ऑफ कनंगू एंड कंपनी वर्सेज कलेक्टर ऑफ कस्टम्स इन दिस केस द बिजनेस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ पर्सन वॉज इन्वेस्टिगेटेड एंड सम वॉचेज वेर सीज बाय द पुलिस हु वॉज इन पावर अंडर द सी कस्टम्स एक्ट अ पर्सन हु गेव द इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉज नॉट अलाउड फॉर क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नेचुरल जस्टिस वॉज नॉट जस्ट नॉट जस्ट वॉयलेटेड ऑल्सो द कोर्ट हेल्ड एट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नेचुरल जस्टिस डज नॉट अलाउ द कंसर्न पर्सन टू क्रॉस एग्जामिन अगेंस्ट द विटनेस इन द मैटर वे गुड्स आर सीज अंडर द सी कस्टम्स एक्ट and the last essential is the legal representation genuinely the representation through a legal adviser in the authoritative arbitration isn't considered as an imperative piece of reasonable hearing be that as it may in specific circumstances in the event that the privilege of legal representation is not rejected rejected and the at that point it add up to the infringement of natural justice as in india there is a provisions for free legal aid for the persons who can't afford legal representations as in the case of jg modi versus state of bombay and krishna chandra versus union of india in this case it was held that the refusal of legal representation amounts to the violation of natural justice because the party was not able to understand the rules of law effectively and they should get a chance of being heard once again moving to the few main cases of body ultram partum that is the suresh koshi george versus the university of kerala and others it was observed that the aim of the rules of natural justice is to secure justice or to put it negatively to prevent miscarriage of justice these rules can operate only in areas not covered by any law validly made like in other words they do not supplant the law of the land but supplement it the concept of natural justice has undergone a great deal of changes in recent years and in this past it was thought that it included just two rules namely that is no one shall be judged in his own case that is never debit as judex propria and causa that is the rule against bias and second is no decision shall be given against a party without affording him a reasonable hearing that is a ordeal from part also in the case of union of india versus w n chadda the apex court had observed the rule of ordeal from partum is a rule of justice and its application is excluded where the rule will itself lead to injustice thus there is exclusion of the application of ordeal from partum rule to cases where nothing unfair can be inferred by an affording an opportunity to present and meet a case this rule cannot be applied to defeat the ends of justice or to make the law lifeless absurd and self defeating or plainly contrary to the common sense of the situation and this rule may be jettisoned in every exceptional circumstances where compulsion necessity so demands hence this is the concept of ordeal from partum thank you